Each day in biscuits. Okay. Each biscuits. Hello everybody once again on the Agus XP. We had some technical difficulties and we have brought you special this bit of footage. Angus is still on vacation, so I, Thomas Johnson, will be providing you with this footage. Yes, I'm recording, you damn woman. <laughs> so let us go ahead and go into our previous game where we had previously won the previous version of the previous God of War. Previously. Ugh. So, we had just gotten done in Jotunheim, or we're barely still in Jotunheim. Oh, we, yeah, we are. So, we need to go to the Tree of Life, I believe, and go back home. <clears throat> Farm, hell harm. I want to go there. Odin has prevented access to the the travel rune will never work. Well, I'll figure something out. Vanaheim. Oh boy. I gotta go to Midgard. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowball that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of Owens. Owens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, that's when it's back to back the home again. Ragnarok is the snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world, in that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Oops. I brought on the end of the war. Oh, end of the world. Again. Because <coughs> if we remember correctly, at the end of God of War 3... This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my scroop. Yeah, we... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or, if you're not heading home, same advice. <laughs> anyway. Uh, to, to scroll. Anyway. If we remember back in God of War 3, after I had killed all of the gods of Olympus, I had brought on the end of the world. Holy schmuckers. Am I able to access my boat? I guess I'll find out here soon. <clears throat> How about the world serpent? Is he still around? Oh boy. I don't know if I'll be able to access my boat. Let's see if the world serpent is around. <coughs> World Serpent? Hello? Sweetheart? Hmm. 
World Serpent, World Serpent, where are you? I think you? we're better off letting the snake rest, brother. Yeah, you're probably right. Thank you! Oh, so I'm gonna give you the option now. Yeah, he did kind of get his guts roared, ripped open. Last we do. Alright, let's go check out that boat. Alright. Wait a minute. Is he gone? He's usually on the map. Uh, I guess I'm wrong. Now brought out the end of the world. Typhoons, tornadoes, oh, you name it. It was everywhere. And it was horrendous. And then somehow I found myself in the Norse times. Alright, where is... How do I mark? Alright, so where would I... Hmm. Alright, where the thing is done. Yes. Let us continue. Either that or I could go just into a mystic gateway. Let's do that instead of trying to freeze our nips out here. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? Well, I can just tell you the story later. So sorry that I prevented a heartfelt story from Mimir. It's as if he had a heart or something like that. I, need that alchemist for something I'm stewing I don't you. care about an alchemist. Alright, let's go home. Where's my cursor? There it is. Going through the mystic portals of Walmart. The tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay, tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Yodenheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Something tells me... Odin collects prophecies. Is this the only... Oh, wait. Odin collects prophecies, tries to control fate by knowing the future. Maybe he thinks we'll pose a threat someday. Or at least he knows we're looking for a way to Jotunheim. Well, we already went to Jotunheim. All right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger.
Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Alright, time to go to bed. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> time to make like chickens and go to sleep. He goes to sleep and oh, years later. Years later. What's that? The ball. Years later, and Atreus is still a ten-year-old boy. What's happening? Oh my gosh! Truly the end. So, one could go ahead and assume that that was Thor. Either that or somebody possibly has Mjolnir in their illegal possession. I'm calling the authorities right away. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did or not, I don't care. All set. Thomas Johnson Corporation believe that you needed to say all of what was there and the absolute truth. We'll be sure to keep our eye out for other games that Angus fails to mention. Until then, I'm back in the Looney Bench. Thank you guys so much. Oh, bye bye.